So as much as I didn't really want to document this because it's not uh, an exciting time right now. Look, there's a hearse. Maybe that first one I saw was bad luck. Minnesota with the green giant statue. I have a Patreon if you want to follow my journeys even though they may be over uh, feel free to check out the link in the bio. So the bike's down. I pulled into Blue Earth Minnesota to check out this guy and uh, a weird sound like a gasket blowing sound uh, happened on the bike and then it kind of made some I even hate saying it knocking noises But then now when I serve it, it just sounds, I mean, it sounds like something's in there. It's not, definitely not an exhaust gasket. Like it's a, a kind of a knocking noise. I hate, hate even saying that because I know what that means. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, like I said, we can, you can have it sent to us. We can do whatever we can. Weeks, months, because I hear a lot of parts are hard to get. Yeah, all depending on what we need and if they're even available. Yeah, okay. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yep. You bet. All right. Bye bye. So I was just on the phone with uh, Progressive, and hopefully I get a tow here. Uh, coincidentally, I'm uh, about 70 miles out of Spirit Lake, where Victory Motorcycles were uh, created manufactured now it's a big Indian manufacturing plant so let's see what they can do for me or maybe I'm just taking old yeller back home it was supposed I was supposed to come here and do a nice video to, uh, to start this trip off um, I'm almost I'm like 2,500 miles into it from Vegas I think Maybe the end of it. This may be the end of my trip. I may end up having to leave the bike here and fly home. I I don't know what to do. I have no idea what to do. I'm trying to stay calm and I'm trying to, to hope that maybe it is just a blown gasket of some kind or something. I, so I'm just gonna wait for the tow truck hope for the best I may not even get to really start my trip I was just talking to her too I was just like you're doing well you're doing well thank you for treating me well after all this fairings fucked up fork seals went out went and paid for that to get fixed fairings are gonna cost me looking at like a thousand dollars and now who knows what this is gonna cost me hopefully it's covered under warranty this is the only place that's open. I'm actually only like 40 minutes away from Polaris headquarters as well. I'll go ahead and work on your chain to find the service provider. Once I've found the service provider, I uh, will call you back with the name of the service provider and the um, estimated time of arrival. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Talk to one person, talk to two people. When will I actually get to talk to the tow truck driver?
Lake, Iowa. As I left Jackson, uh, Jackson, Minnesota, I made it to Blue Earth, Minnesota. And right as I pulled into the Green Giant, Giant statue, um, my bike did some weird, not hop, more like it, it was almost like air blown out and then a bunch of knocking noises came from the engine so I quickly turned it off and, uh, and I tried to turn it on again and it's still rattling around like almost if there's uh, rocks in there which is usually not a good sound for an engine so I called Progressive and got a tow by a nice guy named Jeff all the way back to basically Jackson but a little south of that in uh, uh, Spare Lake, Iowa. I actually stayed in Jackson last night at a KOA, which was a very nice KOA. So I've backtracked 70 miles, 75 miles plus some, and I'm now in Spare Lake, where the Indian manufacturing plant is, uh, and a dealership that works on Victories. And they've already told me that parts are gonna take some time to get, and uh, yeah, that's where I stand. Uh, they were nice enough to loan me this slingshot to get around today. I don't have any options left. Pending what is wrong with my bike, I may have to postpone my trip. I may have to fly home, and I may have to get my bike at a later date. When shit goes wrong. It happens in threes. Three times. First, I rolled, or I should say slid the bike down in the railing at the Buffalo Chip and busted my fairing out. That's $1,000 right there. Second, my fork seals were, went out. That was $600. Got those fixed nicely. I got those fixed though. And then third was Possibly my engine is blown. I don't know. There's no oil leakage. I mean, all I could tell from the dipstick, there's no metal fibers in there. Um, but it didn't sound good. It didn't sound good at all. And I, quite frankly, am expecting the worst. I don't know why it would blow up. I have plenty of oil. It was smooth sailing all the way to Blue Earth. This is in like 90. Just humming along. Perfect. I've had this like kind of exhaust leak sound for a little bit, and I'm pretty sure it was exhaust leak sound. Um, and I tried tightening the exhaust, it kind of went away. And then, uh, so that's what I'm thinking, is it an exhaust gasket? But the noises it was making don't line up with that. So anyways, um, it's still an adventure, I'll tell you that. You have to adapt a lot of the times, and one of those moments. I had planned for this for probably like three, four months or more. I mean, technically I wanted to do this last year. But it is what it is. I'm just worried about how long this is going to take. If it takes a week to get the parts, I'm a week of hotel or camping. I mean, I guess I did it before, but I'm definitely not going to be able to do the same trip I, I planned. If you want to follow along and support the disaster that this has become, uh, I appreciate you all. Uh, I appreciate it if you're part of my Patreon or not. I appreciate it if you like the videos and subscribe. Anything helps. I need a good morale boost right now, so put some comments down there, like, subscribe, do, all, do, do the thing, because I need a little bit of that positivity. Thanks guys. Peace.